Our uh, next guest here at the big round table is uh, Mo Vigil. Mo is a CEO, entrepreneur. He's the CEO and founder of a company called IntelliCare LLC. It's a home health care company. And Mo is also the author of the book that just slipped down on the table <laughs> called Chicano Millionaires. Mo, welcome to The Morning Brew. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, really appreciate it. Thanks for being it. here. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, when I saw the name of your book, I, in the word Chicano. I, I haven't heard that word in such a long time. I thought that was kind of an old term. Well, and that was kind of the reason why I titled it Chicano Millionaires. My uh, publishers, they didn't want to do it that way, but but I thought, you know, if you're walking by a bookstore and you see Chicano Millionaires, you're like, what? Let me double take and take a look at that. And then you yeah. find out it's four guys that are all local and they're here and they're all, none of them were handed a silver spoon uh -huh. and they all were self-made. I thought it was pretty amazing, so that's why I wanted to title it Chicano Millionaires. Good for you. Yeah, so, so tell us a little bit more about the book. Well, um, the reason I wrote the book, I'm not a writer by any means, so, um, but the reason I wrote the book was because uh, my wife, um, uh, we, we, when we were together early on, we were you know, just struggling, going through life, and she, um, uh, she, you know, we got to a certain point in our life where you know, uh, we were pretty successful financially. Mm -hmm. And so when we got to that point, she says, man, you got a lot of good information. You need to share that with other people. And um, she said, you ought to write a book. And uh, I had plenty of work on my plate already, so <laughs> to write a book, that's a lot of work. And so I told her, well, you're real into fitness and looking good and health, and you ought to run a marathon. And so she says, okay, well, I'll run a marathon. And as soon as I'm done running the marathon, then you write the book. And so I thought, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty safe because she doesn't run. <laughs> Trained 18 weeks, ran the marathon. Oh, oh my. wow. And I start scratching my head and said, okay, well, her. I got to live up to my end of the bargain. I got to write the book. Yeah. So <laughs> I'd wake up every Sunday, uh, probably about four or five in the morning and spend about two, three hours. And I did that for about two, or ha two and a half years and published yeah. the book in uh, March of 2009. Wow. So I always love to know from successful people and entrepreneurs like you. What, what was that defining moment, that uh, corner turning moment that you knew that you were gonna make it or be a success? That's a great question. Um, there was a, I'll tell you a little bit about my background. My undergraduate's in biology and dental hygiene. So I was a dental hygienist and um, I was, you know, they're cleaning people's teeth and people would come in, lawyers, uh -huh. doctors, businessmen, people like yourself and, uh, so uh, this one guy came in and, and he said, you know, you're, you're a pretty amazing individual and I can't picture you sitting in this operatory the rest of your life cleaning people's teeth, you know. And uh, he says, you got to make your move by the time you're 30. And I was about 28, 29 at that time. And so that was really the defining moment. I started thinking about that. What's this guy talking about? And so that's when I started my first company. And uh, I've never looked back and, and I've been very blessed. So what was your first company then? Uh, IntelliCare was the first company that I started. Wow. And so now I own two other investment companies, and then, of course, I wrote the book. And then I also sit on a board for Los Ojos de la Familia. Oh, okay. It's a local charity uh -huh. that a friend of mine started. And, you know, we're, our mission is just to help people and, and, and just give back. We don't want to give to just one segment, you know, like the Cancer Foundation. Mm -hmm. or we help out anybody. If a mother needs a car seat, we'll go and get her a car seat. Or, you oh, know, we wow. help out just about anybody. So. That's great. Uh, uh, do you feel like you're a role model for Hispanic youth? Um, I, I, or in just a, anybody? Yeah, in a way I, I do. Um, you know, I don't like the spotlight. This is pretty intimidating for me. It's a pretty <laughs> amazing set. Yeah. But um, I, I, you know, it, it, it comes with the territory. I yeah. mean, when you employ over 400 people and, you know, you make you know, millions of dollars and you do different things and you start charities and just all these things just start happening and coming and you, it's just part of the territory. So you have to get involved and you have to get involved with politics. You got to mm -hmm. get involved with just about everything. And so, um, you know, the, I get asked to speak at a lot of the schools and I go in there and I, and I talk to the kids and, and it's more so, you know, I don't preach education to them because uh, I wasn't one that was very good in education. I mean, I. I worked hard is what I did, but mm -hmm. I, w it w I wasn't gifted school-wise. Uh -huh. And so, um, but I, I think it just comes with the territory. And you do give a lot back. So what really sparked that uh, reason to be so philanthropic? That, that's another really good story. Um, I, uh, when you make a lot of money, um, there's a lot of bad things that can happen too. And so, yeah. um, you know, I was in a point in my life where some, some, I was being around a lot of that. More money, more problems, you've heard that. Yeah. And, and, and what happened was a, a friend of mine, he sat me down, and he's one of my mentors, 74-year-old man, 
amazing guy. And he says, what have you done for, um, you know, the city? And, 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 and I said, well, what do you mean? He's like, well, what do you contribute to help people? And I said, oh, you know, I sponsor teams and, you know, I give money to the church and, you know, I do a lot of these different things. I've helped out family members. And, and he's like, it wasn't, he wasn't really impressed. And so he says, well, what have you done for the city? I said, the city? And I had to kind of think about that a little bit. And he said, well, what have you done for the state of New Mexico? What have you done for wow. the United States? Yeah. And so when he brought it on that spectrum, it really got me to a point of thinking I need to start helping other people. You're a nice guy. I, I, I like you, Mo. The, this is, uh, <laughs> We're this already is, right out of time. This is fantastic. And I want people to pick up the book. Uh, look for ChicanoMillionaires.com, the website. And uh, I'm going to check it out. That's awesome. I appreciate Great it. Great to meet you. Thank you guys yeah, for having thank me. Thank you for being here. Pleasure meeting you guys. Thank you.